Okay, the last time we did an Islanders segment, it was decidedly more optimistic. Um, at that time, the Islanders had just swept the Penguins, and were waiting for the winner of um, Washington against Carolina. And, um, and here where I, I think the problem lies. I think psychologically the Islanders were expecting to face Washington. They were defending Stanley Cup champions. Uh, they were home for Game 7. Um, it would have been, they just taken out a team that had won two Stanley Cups in the last three years. They were pumped to face the defending Stanley Cup champions. And then when Washington shockingly lost, I just don't think they had the same passion for Carolina. Carolina really hasn't done much in their hockey history. Certainly not with you know, Pittsburgh winning two Stanley Cups in three years, mm -hmm. Washington defending champion. Mm -hmm. So I think they didn't have that fired up attitude. Secondly, professional athletes in general are creatures of habit. You have a day off, two days off, maybe three days off, that's fine. But when you're off for a week and a half, it's just too much time. You're not as sharp mentally, mentally and physically. Add in the fact that instead of playing at the beloved Nassau Coliseum, the old barn, with it's such a great, intense atmosphere, the NHL demanded that they play at the Barclays Center, and it just doesn't have the same impact with the fans, and I don't think the players. I don't think it's that same intense atmosphere, and honestly, the Islanders have been flat as a pancake. Mm -hmm. Two games, they've lost both, and they've scored one goal in two games. But, here's the good thing. The series, in my opinion, is not over yet. Have they played well? Defensively, okay, but offensively, they've been flat as a pancake. But I think now they are fired up, they're angry, and I think they're going to Carolina with, hey, we got a back to the wall, we got to take it to Carolina now. What are your thoughts, Rich? I couldn't agree with you more, Howie. I have to allude to last year the Washington Capitals, the Stanley Cup champions. They were down two games in a series and then came back and won four in a row to advance. It's never over, it's never say die. My uncle would, had a saying that you can never ever doubt a team in sports. You can't ever, ever deny a team in sports. I won't lie to you, I never expected the Islanders to get past Pittsburgh. I was a Debbie Downer, I'm not going to lie. I am an Islander fan, but yet I was going with Tampa. Lo and behold, Tampa got swept by the Columbus Blue Jackets. And look at what the Blue Jackets are accomplishing now. Hockey is one of the most unpredictable sports in the world. It's very hard to predict because it's seven games. It's not one, like the Super Bowl. In ice hockey... I also believe that where you play makes a huge difference in the momentum of your players. I agree with you, Howie. The Nassau Coliseum is iconic. It is where the dynasty began. It is where the quest for the cup began. We won all four cups in that incredible building. We have a history with it. The Barclays Center, I've been there. I went to a boxing match there with, with my friend and her uncle. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is not designed for hockey. It is not a hockey arena. It is an arena for sports like wrestling, boxing, maybe even arena football, but not ice hockey. A true ice hockey arena is based on three principles. One, the ambience of sound, the amplification of the fans. You're, when you cheer, I mean, in Seattle, you have the sonic boom, they call it, with the fans. The same can be said in the barn. There is a section in the barn known as 339. It is the Islanders' country. These are the most devoted Islander fans on the face of the earth. If you remember the Stanley Cup championship with Mike Bossy and Clark Gillies, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't have this with the Barclays Center. Number two, how we alluded to rest. I agree completely. Ten days was too long. These players... 
rested way too long, and in the process, I also believe they were anticipating the Capitals. Ovechkin is the hottest player in the NHL right now. He is one of the top scorers. He is a force to be reckoned with. Him and Nikita Kucherov of the Tampa Bay Lightning, also known as the Russian Assassin. We were anticipating the Capitals, not the Carolina Hurricanes. I believe the Islanders took the Capitals too seriously and overlooked a team like Carolina. No one expected it would take seven games to advance, but they did it. They beat the champions. This is not a team we want to take lightly. Now we're going to their backyard. Now it becomes crucial. The next two games are going to set the tone, I believe, for the series. If the Islanders truly want this cup, they're going to have to play some serious offense, wake the hell up, and realize what's at stake. The defense has been on fire. There's no question. Game one, they had a lot of scoring opportunities. A lot of the, the goals that could have been scored hit the post. They tried. They failed. It's not something that we take lightly. Game one usually sets the momentum for the series. Game two is your chance to kind of establish a momentum. That was not established. We've lost two in a row, but it's not over, not by a long shot. The Islanders are known for comebacks. New York is known for comebacks. Look at the New York Yankees. The Yankees have been down numerous times to teams, including your iconic Boston Red Sox, but they've managed to bounce back. That's what's beautiful about sports. It's a Cinderella story of sorts. You bounce back. You go on what you believe. If you really want this Stanley Cup, you're going to fight, and you're going to fight hard. Absolutely. Uh, you know, me being a Red Sox fan, um, the Red Sox were in far worse shape than the Islanders um, when they won their first two World Series of this uh, century. In 04, they were down three games to nothing to the Yankees, and they came back and won four, facing elimination for four straight games. They beat the Yankees four in a row, becoming the first baseball team in history to win a series down 03. And then in 07, they were down to the Cleveland Indians three games to one, uh, facing elimination three games, and they beat the Indians in seven. So uh, the Red Sox um, in, in both those years were in a much worse predicament. Uh, they were one game away from elimination, and they won... Uh, four games straight and then three games straight so it can be done it's been done many times before but the old saying goes and it's so true one game at a time don't worry about winning the whole series just win game three you win game three you got two games to one and you move to game four so it's not about winning the whole series at this point it's about putting everything you have and winning game three and then you can win the series. But that's where the Islanders are now. Just win game three, and you're back in it. I couldn't agree more with you, Howie. It's about baby steps. With each step, we progress. That's the key to winning a championship. It's four games. Each game has an important element to it. Each game plays a crucial role. If you look, for example, at San Jose versus the Golden Knights for, for um, round one, the Golden Knights were heavily favored. They went all the way to the finals but lost to the Capitals, which was never done, has never been done by an, a, a team in its inaugural season. But they lost it in the first round. Another example, the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Tampa Bay Lightning had an iconic season, 62 wins, the President's Trophy. Now the people of Tampa believe that that trophy has a curse to it because whoever wins it doesn't seem to advance very far. I believe it's about momentum. That's what sports is truly all about. It is about the will to win, the desire to win, the hunger to win. We have not won a Stanley Cup since 1983. The Islanders swept one of the most powerful teams in the National Hockey League in the iconic Pittsburgh Penguins. Sidney Crosby himself is an incredible player. He won the Olympics in Vancouver for, the, for Team Canada with the winning goal. This is not a person that we take lightly. He's actually a candidate for the Hart Trophy. I believe, a, I, I'm personally partial to Kucherov, but not getting off topic. I believe very strongly this is a team that could very well go all the way. 
They just have to organize their offense. Their defense has been perfect. To hold off a team like Carolina for two periods with a one-goal lead is an accomplishment in itself. But to blow it in the third period shows me a very, a very sad and very lackluster team. A team that obviously wasn't hungry enough. Is it the Barkley Center? Is it the fact that the, that the Barkley Center is not the barn? I agree with Howie. The NHL never should have had this series go back to Brooklyn. No offense, the Barkley Center, like I said earlier, is not designed for hockey. That is like the New York Rangers playing in the Nassau Coliseum. Madison Square Garden is the iconic home to the Rangers. It always has been, it always will be. I believe the Nassau Coliseum plays the same part. Even though we are building the Islanders a new arena in, El in Belmont, I pray to the hockey gods above that it will be every bit as spectacular as Nassau Coliseum is. I've been fortunate enough to see the American Airlines Center in Miami. The Panthers are not a team that, that anyone really takes serious, unfortunately. And yet they have a truly spectacular stadium. Their fans are so devoted. Not that Islander fans aren't. But Islander fans have for years been screaming since we moved the team to Brooklyn, come back to Long Island. This is their home. They're not called the Brooklyn Islanders. They are the New York Islanders. And if you look at my jersey, you can clearly see Long Island is on there. You can tell by the colors, Nassau County, that's their home. This is where they belong. This is where they should play. Not in Brooklyn, but on Long Island. They're not. After all, the Brooklyn Islanders, they are the Long Island, New York Islanders. Let's go, Islanders. Let's get the cup. Let's get it done. Okay. Uh, they're in a bad spot. Not 2-0, but uh, we'll see if they can win game three. Because if they lose game three, I think they're done. Um, you know, usually teams don't come down for three. So got to win game three. If they lose game three, it's going to be uh, on the golf course very shortly after that. So the Islanders have to win game three. All right. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. All right.